Hey guys, Ergon Angie with Ergon Web and Ergon Pro Shop. I have the Beeman QB Chief 2. And this one, guys, I have unboxed it, but please forgive me. It's been a while. I hadn't done a full review yet. I did compare it to the Commander and in just the aesthetics. I hadn't shot it at that point to see accuracy, power, all that kind of thing. Um, just by going what the company had said about it. But now guys, I've had some experience with it. I know the accuracy, I know the power. So let's seriously check it out. Thank you Airgun Pro Shop for sending me the gear. If you guys are looking for any new air guns or just help figuring out what you need or what you want, go to www.airgunproshop.com. Now this is a rather small gun, so it's more aimed to please maybe a smaller shooter, a youth. And so you want it to be fairly simple to operate and that's exactly what it is. It's easy to cock, easy to load the magazines, easy to fill. It has the a basic fill nipple, so you really don't need an extra probe to fill it with. It is hand pump friendly. <laughs> Of course guys, you're only filling it to 2,000 PSI, so because it's only to 2,000 PSI, it's not going to take near as long to fill as it would if you were trying to pump it up to 3,000 PSI. So that's definitely a good gun to have if you only have a hand pump. But because the tank is so much smaller, it's definitely not going to hold as much air. It's definitely not going to be capable of as many shots as something that maybe shoots that holds 3,000 PSI. So there is that. Okay, so it's, these are the JSBs. And I'm not real fond of these types of safeties. I much prefer them in front of the trigger or a push button. I tested JSB 14.35s, Crossman HP 14.3s, and the Barracuda matches. The Barracuda matches were the most accurate. Okay. I think you think it's going to be the Barracuda matches. And yes, those pellets are a little heavy. So the FPS is not going to be the same, but they were super accurate. So of course, those are the ones that I used. And it may be that the Beeman likes a heavier pellet because the other ones were 14 something grain. These are 21, so it may just like the heavier pellets. So maybe I can do a little bit of pellet testing later with some heavier pellets of different types and see if it shoots them similarly well to the Barracuda matches. The company claims a max velocity of 830 feet per second. What I got with the Barracuda um, matches was 788.5 feet per second, and that's 11.37 foot-pounds of energy. Okay, I'm going to do two shot groups with uh, um, 10 pellets with it open-sided, and I'm going to mount a scope and do two more shot groups with a scope on it. If your gun comes with open sights, fiber optic sights, iron sights, whatever you want to call it, shoot it first before you put an optic because if for some reason it's not shooting well with your optic, you'll know whether it's the gun or whether it's the optic. So you want to check it out open sights first. The cylinder, the air cylinder, is much smaller than maybe other guns, so you're going to get about 35 shots per fill. Then I mounted a scope on it. This is the Hawk Varmint. It's 2.5 to 10 by 44. Barracuda match. This is with a scope. Oh, I need to slide it in. Duh. I have no idea where that hit. 
That thing is way low left. But I love having the option of being able to shoot it open-sided or with an option. I think yep. every gun should come with that option. There we go. Left bottom target. And definitely powerful enough to go take out a squirrel, rat. Small game, guys. We're not gonna go take this out and try to hunt deer or hogs. I'm just playing. I know you guys know better than that. Don't you? The trigger has a lot of play in it. But once you get the feel of it, that's why I always allow a few shots first. I call them my grace shots. So I can get adjusted to the trigger and just get a feel for it. Um, before I actually test the gun because the trigger, I mean, it plays such a huge part in the gun's accuracy and the shooter's ability to mm, shoot double -fed that consistently they both at shot the same low. place. That's it. It also comes with a single shot tray, guys, and you just insert it right there, and that allows you to shoot a single pellet at a time. Yeah. It's actually really accurate. Or say maybe something happens to your magazine, it gets broke. With this, you don't have to wait to get a new one. And then just continue shooting. I don't know how many shots that was. I wasn't counting. Ah, I pulled that one to the right. And to me, it seemed like it was maybe a little bit more accurate. The group seemed to be just a tad bit tighter with the open, with the single shot tray. So then guys, to take it back a little further and do a little more testing, I honestly thought, nah, the long distance gun, $200, little youth gun. And I'm not talking 100 yards, guys. I'm talking generally 25 yards for an inexpensive gun, pretty good. Take it back much further than that, and it really spreads out. But this one, at 40 yards, guys, I said, I'll be super surprised if this does well. I am definitely pleasantly surprised. That was actually a beautiful group for 40 yards with the Beeman Chief 2. And it stacked them. It really shot very well. I was very pleased and pleasantly surprised. So 40 yards with a $200 youth gun. <laughs> Pretty freaking awesome. I didn't think it was gonna be a long distance shooter, but guys, it is. If 40 yards is considered long distance to you. I know many of you out there, it is not. But as far as this gun concern is concerned, a $200 youth gun, I think that's pretty decent yardage for it. It's definitely more pros than cons. I really, really like this little gun. I actually know somebody who is quite small framed and she has the first chief that is just a single shot, and she absolutely loves it. It fits her perfectly, it's light. She takes it squirrel hunting with her daddy. So guys, if you're looking for a gun for a small frame person or a child, and this is a good starter, guys, definitely a good starter PCP. I've got only those three small complaints. The rest of it, guys, pretty good job, Beeman. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm Airgun Angie with Airgun Web. Y'all don't just have a good day. Like always, guys, have an awesome one. See ya. Definitely guys, if you haven't checked all of our channels out, please go check them out. There's Airgun Web, Airgun Pro Shop, Backyard Shooting, and of course, check out Ben from Shooting Gear Reviews. Got some pretty good content on all four of those channels. Go check them out.
Let them throw some pellets down lead. Let them 